Like every other day, the man was waiting on the subway when he noticed an unlikely passenger among other commuters. It was a dog. At first, he thought it belonged to someone, but he was quite wrong. He had to find out where the dog had gone, but when he found out what it was doing and why it was there, he immediately called the authorities. Usually, Amir goes to work with his personal car, but since the day before he had been in the workshop, he decided to use public transport to go to work. From the first day, he took the subway. Amir did not expect to see such a thing. A dog waited patiently with the people at the station and jumped into the carriage as soon as it stopped. No one paid much attention to the dog except Amir. What's going on? Amir, watching the dog on the platform, tried to look for it in the subway. But before they could find him, the train arrived at Amir's station. Unfortunately, he had to get off and go to work. At first, he thought the dog was just an aimless wanderer inside the carriage, looking for something to eat. So he tried to forget about it. But this would not be the end of his story. Amir returned home, thinking he would never see the dog again. But the next day, he got the surprise of his life. The dog was waiting for him again at the subway station. And that's not all. Over the next few days, Amir continued to watch the dog take his own subway. He began to wonder what was going on. Was the dog astray and some commuter had fed it? Or was it something much more serious? Not every day was the same. On one occasion, Amir had seen some people push the dog away and pull it out of the carriage with a bit of disgust. He had tried to stop them, but it was too late. The train had already left the station and the poor dog had remained on the cold concrete running in circles. People walked past him, and no one paid any attention to the dog, except Amir. Amir saw through the window that the dog was behaving strangely, as if it had lost its way. The dog was disoriented and was moving chaotically among the people waiting for the next train. Before Amir could do anything, the train left the station. The man kept thinking of a way to help the dog, but first, he had to find him again. He was determined to uncover the mystery of the traveling dog. The next day, Amir brought some delicious dog kibble with him when he left for work. He waited at the same subway station, and it wasn't long before the dog appeared. He was a little dirtier than usual, but his brown coat was unmistakable. The dog accepted the treats by wagging his tail. Seeing it so happy, Amir was happy to be able to help the little dog but the young man had no intention of stopping there. Amir received a phone call informing him that his car had been repaired and was ready to be picked up from the garage. At that point, he decided to keep taking the subway to work until he had a chance to help the dog. The car could wait, but who knows what trouble that dog got into every morning. Amir had to act as quickly as possible to get to the bottom of this whole story. He decided to call the authorities, who directed him to a local animal shelter. The shelter staff was as baffled as Amir when they heard the story. At first, the team simply wanted to catch the dog and try to find an adoptive family for him. But the mystery of where he went every day and why would not be solved this way. This meant that someone might be waiting for the dog at home or maybe he was watching a puppy. They couldn't know for sure, so the staff moved in another direction. The animal shelter staff decided to put a tracker on the dog to see exactly where he was going. It wasn't easy to gain the dog's trust, but with Amir's help, they succeeded. Now, all that was left was to wait. The tracker was finally active and on the dog. When the staff saw where the dog was going, they didn't know how to react. They had never seen anything like it. When the staff checked the locator after a day, they couldn't believe it. The dog had taken a very long walk around town and no one knew why. In the following days, history repeated itself. The dog traveled for quite some time and then in the evening returned to the starting area. Someone from the animal shelter staff decided to follow the dog on foot to find out where he went every day. 
It was something he couldn't get out of his head, so he had to act. The man immediately discovered valuable information. First of all, that the dog's name was Boji. He was noticed by locals who began photographing him traveling by subway train and even ferry. It was clear that the dog was very smart. He knew all the rules of public transport and made way for passengers to get off, wait for them, and enter the train after it had emptied completely. When it came to subway and train stations, Boji would wait on the bench if the weather was nice, while going inside if it was cold or raining. The man had never seen a dog like him. Checking the tracker in more detail, the animal shelter staff discovered that Boji made about 29 stops a day, reaching a distance of 27 to 30 kilometers every day. Boji, despite being a stray dog, is a cross between a civis kangal and sheepdog and takes its name from a railway terminology belonging to the Turkish language. The dog underwent a thorough check, which showed that he had already undergone all health checks and had been sterilized. So the poor dog belonged to a family, but now lived as a stray. He traveled a lot to reach people and establishments where he could get food. It was a daily adventure for the dog to be fed by the many people who loved and cherished him. If it wasn't enough, Many social media accounts were open to track the last time Boji was seen, as passengers enjoyed his company during the trip. The dog was a calming presence and brought joy to all the passengers he met. So everyone helped the dog find his way and gave him treats every time they saw him. Since people started following Boji, he became an online phenomenon. Chris McGrath, a photographer for Getty Images, found out about Boji through Twitter. Netizens have started posting selfies with the dog, who now also has his own Instagram and Twitter accounts with thousands of followers. Chris decided to go to Istanbul to see the dog in person. He followed Boji for a day to see where he was going and photograph his adventures. He couldn't believe his eyes. It was something unique in the whole world. He knows where to go. He knows where to go, explained Alvin Errol, head of customer relations at Metro Istanbul. It was truly amazing that the dog knew exactly where to go. It was a really interesting scheme. It was like he knew where to go and had a purpose. For many, Boji has become a beloved member of the community. Everyone knew him. Chris followed Boji and couldn't believe the stories were true. He is a free spirit. All he wants to do is ride transportation. Every time he passes in front of a bus, van, or any mode of transportation, he just wants to get on. It's really strange, he told CNN News. Not only did Chris confirm that Boji actually travels up to 20 miles a day on public transportation, but he also discovered something even more incredible. Boji was even spotted on his way to Prince's Island over the weekend. To get there and back, Boji would have to take an hour-long ferry ride. It's truly something impressive. When he boarded the ferry, he knew where to go. He was headed to the side with the sun. He loves water, Chris explained. When the ferry departed, he started barking at waves. But Chris didn't just find this out. Boji knew exactly which ferry to choose. He checked one and people were coming up. I don't know how he knows, but that was the heading to Eminen. And the other one was heading to Besiktas, Chris said laughing. So he checked the one for Eminen and said, no, that's not the right one. Then he slipped under the turnstiles and went to the one in Besiktas. Chris also discovered another extravagant Boji habit. City workers told Chris that Boji seems to appreciate the different engines of the vehicles he rides in. On the ferry, he sits in the back where the engine is because he likes the vibrations, Chris explained. And when he's on the subway, he sits where the wheels are right underneath, above the wheels. He always likes the feeling of sitting on them. That's how Boji got its name. The name Boji comes from the area of the subway that sits just above the wheels. In railway terminology, it's called a bogey. In Turkish, bogey translates as Boji. He was a really smart dog. But how does a stray dog find enough food to survive on the streets of Istanbul? Being a stray on the streets is dangerous for any animal. So what makes Istanbul different? 
Istanbul is known as Kadistan for a reason. There are many stray dogs and cats roaming the streets. But being a stray dog in Istanbul is different from being a stray dog anywhere else in the world. The city of Istanbul has a program that protects the many stray dogs that roam the streets. Food is provided by the city. There are sterilization programs and emergency assistance services for all stray animals. For Boji, it is not difficult to find enough food. There will be water and pet food bowls hidden in the corners of restaurants or homes, Chris explains, so Boji knows where to go. He has these sections perfectly located. The municipality is also planning to post flyers about Boji on the transportation system to give people instructions on how to interact with him. But how do Istanbul residents react to Boji? He walked into a restaurant and two men chased him away, yelling at him, Chris says. And then you hear someone else, the owner of another restaurant, yelling at those guys. It's Boji! It's Boji! Don't chase him away! So he's definitely a celebrity now. And it's not just members of the Istanbul community who are protecting their beloved pet. Alvin Errol and the other municipal employees have a soft spot for the traveling dog. Since Boji became so well known, the municipal employees started taking him for regular checkups at the vet. It's a way to help him maintain good health. They also decided to do a behavioral study to verify that the dog was doing well and that his interactions with humans were not a problem for him and the people he meets every day. They took him to some sort of boot camp and gave him some attention. Some grooming, some shots. Chris told CNN News it was helpful for Boji to get those checkups. They watched him interact, got his placement collar fixed, and it took about a week. Once they were sure Boji was healthy, they released him but not without creating a small kennel for him in one of the subway stations. Since people became aware of Boji and his strange habits of moving around on trains, he has become a global phenomenon on the internet. He has more than 79,000 followers on his Twitter and Instagram accounts. Many of his followers are Istanbul commuters who know him personally. You take the train and suddenly you see Boji, said Aylin Errol of the Istanbul Metro. You smile and you seize the moment. You really do.